Hi, this is Susie Leventero. Let's see. Uh, let's see if I, <laughs> let's try all the signs. Okay, let's see. <laughs> the other day it went kind of crazy, but let's see if uh, we could get through. Uh, okay, so. All right, so uh, let's start with Aries and then we'll, um, Okay, let's see. I'll take this one too. Okay, so uh, Aries, you received Aquarius and I feel like that is you uh, being forward moving is what I'm picking up here okay so um, wherever uh, whatever hold on okay so wherever there were things that were uncomfortable places for you uh, you will be uh, trying new things and reaching out more okay um, and let's see, Aquarius has Jupiter, doesn't it? Jupiter and Saturn, I think. Yeah. Okay, so. Okay, so I feel like you are making improvements on yourself is what I'm getting here. Okay, so now for those of you who are uh, business oriented, I feel like that is making improvements and making your business more efficient uh, and uh, also looking at the big picture and thinking about all the people uh, that are um, working for you. Okay. And okay. And then uh, also uh, being appreciative of the universe supporting you. Okay. And this is the uh, circle of eternal joy. Okay. Okay, so it's like the new dance of life, okay? It's like you've got a new lease on life, okay? Because through your new lens, you're able to reach for more, okay? All right, so then we have uh, building your world, creation, expansion, and networking, Okay, so I feel like these things are very key to reaching for new places and uh, networking, uh, using your resources and really reaching uh, for uh, new connections. Okay, so grateful optimism, joyous view of the future. So yes, and I think that's why the Aquarius card came out too. Okay, so... Um, As you move in your joy, which is your natural state, um, I feel like you will have access to the more positive uh, possibilities that are there. Okay, and I leave you with that. Taurus. Taurus. Whoa. Okay.
first and foremost, uh, what I feel like is you want peace. Uh, whatever happened in the past, uh, all the rights and wrongs of the past, you want to release that and um, kind of restore. This is a duality card. Restore the misunderstandings and things of the past and coming to terms with the past and being okay with the past now. Okay. And uh, releasing the rights and wrongs and really moving in your power is what I'm getting. Okay. So what is interesting here is now they're showing me, okay, so there are uh, some, there, yeah, there are some love interests for Torians. Okay. And the thing is, um, do, I feel like due to the Cancer uh, moon, uh, the, if it's a female, the female's kind of looking in another direction, like, okay. And I think that's because um, there's, a, like, a certain degree of assessing emotions is what I'm picking up here. Okay, let's see. Earth magic. Okay, so grounding your dreams into this reality, being fearless and removing the obstacles of the past. Okay. Earth magic. Okay, so you know what might be uh, nice and it might be kind of weird for some, but um, doing going to drum sessions in the evening is what I'm picking up, you know? Um, it's like um, drum sessions where they go and kind of gather um, and, uh, you know, do rhythmic uh, music with the drums. Okay. Precognition, psychic ability, and future vision. Yes, I feel like this is you, Taurus. Very psychic and very clear. And um, now tapping into your future self to bring in the fullest possibilities the best and highest possibilities okay and then Aries is showing up so perhaps okay um, you are interested in an Aries okay okay so some of you are Aries cuspers okay and um, okay so that's union for some okay and um, Okay, so then the Gemini is coming up here. Okay, so how do we not repeat what happened in the past that was unwanted? Okay, so making new choices in the mind, okay, because the heart just loves, right? So it's like making new choices in the mind. And the thing that I see here that could be the, the, um, the Mars, uh, <laughs> sorry. Okay, so uh, they gave me the alien Mars attack. Okay, so <laughs> I was like, okay, so how do you not fall into that? And that is anything that ruffles your feathers with security could be a potential point. Okay, so I would sure up that and feel more secure. For example, okay, so um, let's say this Mars person uh, or Aries person likes to travel all over the world for business. Okay, so that may get uncomfortable for a Taurus. Okay, so um, find ways that you could sure your energy up so that you're not suspicious. And, um, and those could be potential pitfalls. So sure up that energy where um, your security uh, feels, uh, you know, challenged. Okay, so sure up that yourself. And then uh, look out so that you don't uh, fall into the same uh, situation again. And I feel like if you do that, you'll be able to really connect and not look out other way after that, uh, that feeling of... Um, the cancer energy is here in the emotions kind of assessing. So Uranus is in Taurus. So I feel like there's a gentle undercurrent really trying to um, 
assist you here. Okay, so, um, uh, and, okay, so the Gemini showing up. For some of you, I feel like this is a parent thing. Okay. Um, okay, so, but look into mother and father dynamics. Okay, maybe more father dynamics. Okay, so look into that. And, um, okay, so the other thing is, how does your relationship not burn up in flames like the twins? Or, um, or you know, having a, a long-term uh, peaceful relationship. Okay, well, um, watch out for duality and um, the rights and wrongs. I would stay out of that and any kind of judgment that's gonna be potential points that could uh, bring in the fire, okay? All right, so here's the water. I feel like that's the moon energy I'm feeling. Okay, so, uh, and then here's the sun. Okay, so I feel like whatever it feels a little bit, um, you know, like it needs a little tweaking, you're gonna come into that fullness of the sun and here's the fire. So that's beautiful. Okay, I love that card. <laughs> okay, and then you're going to feel in your power to summon anything is what I'm picking up here. Okay, and then again, the wolf uh, reminds you to be more playful. Okay, and as you get out of the emotions, I feel like you're going to be able to do that and flirt a little bit. Okay, and then miracles. Okay, blessings upon blessings to you, Taurus. Thank you. Gemini. Gemini, Gemini. Okay, Virgo. I feel like that's that Mercury, the Virgo, um, Gemini, uh, Mercury thing. Okay, here's Sagittarius. Okay. Neptune, that's your dream world. Pisces, ooh. Okay, so maybe you're feeling a little emotional, perhaps, with that Pisces there. Twin Flames. Okay. Wow. Okay. So now Taurus got Gemini too. Okay. So maybe that there is a, a connection there with love and a Taurus. Okay. So they had the Gemini card. Okay. So, um, all right, here's a soul partner, eternal connection. Okay. All right. And then here's the divine feminine. Okay, courage. This is like the strength card in the tarot. Okay, and then uh, true love and compassion. Okay, so I feel like you're really going to be tapping into that... Um, with the Virgo here, I feel like you're going to really be tapping into your communication skills and, and using that to socialize and network. And it kind of sounded like Taurus a little bit. <laughs> network and make, uh, no, Aries, that was Aries, new connections. Okay, so bringing your fantasies, dream world, into your creative process is what I'm picking up here. Okay, with this Pisces, it's like double. <laughs> okay, it's like that uh, uh, ethereal dream world. <laughs> okay, 
All right, so uh, maybe uh, at this time people are wondering what reality you're in <laughs> with that there. <laughs> Okay, so then, uh, so perhaps maybe that uh, also has affected the uh, relationship a little bit. Okay, it's like, hello, um, hello, I'm here, you know, whoever your partner is. Okay, so, um, but I feel like this is also uh, you, okay, tapping into your divine feminine, okay, and so aligning the, the masculine and feminine and really feeling that within your being, and here is the... Uh, the hummingbird. So I feel like when it comes to love, if you're single, things are going to move faster. Okay. But um, if you're in a relationship, I feel like with this Tim twin flame card, the passion is still there. And there is a sense of renewal and a uh, potential for uh, kindling that fire again rekindling that fire again and i feel like a newfound purity or like a new uh beginning uh perhaps for some of you that is like renewal of the vows and you might even do another wedding ceremony okay and uh and then do a honeymoon or something is what i'm picking up here okay so and then with the sagittarius energy i'm picking up traveling so i feel like you will be traveling a lot and i feel like whatever it is you're doing you're bringing passion to the table at, and whatever it is you're focused on and um and then in love, okay, so I feel like this is you learning how to open up and, uh, and be more vulnerable in your relationship so that you can have that kind of intimacy that you are seeking. Okay, so in the past, perhaps, since it says fierceness here, uh, w there may have been some family entanglements and whatnot, and, um, but I feel like this is you on top. <laughs> okay of your game now okay so if you're not there it, it's it's on its way and then uh here we are with the uh tenderness true love and compassion so giraffes for me are the six dimensional self so perhaps through meditation you can tap into that and um but i feel like this is you feeling lovey doveys okay and very compassionate towards people's causes and things like that okay and uh really uh being able to open your heart again okay and i leave you with that okay Let's see how we're doing on the time Okay, I have time for one more. Okay, Cancer. Okay, Cancer. Cancer, Cancer. Okay, so first up, Cancer. Okay, so you're a water sign, right? So this should be easy. Go with a flow. <laughs> okay, letting go, cleansing, and receiving. Yes, I feel like that's very important. Learning how to re be the receiver of things, right? Okay, and I said this in another reading too. It could be simple as someone offering you a piece of gum and you just say no, just out of habit or something like that. So, um, it's, um, so as we learn how to receive those little things from people, then the bigger things to being a receiver of the bigger things, uh, is possible because I feel like it doesn't matter how, what the dollar amount is or what the, uh, uh, 
the non-physical thing is whatever it is I feel like there's a potential for more it's like infinite possibilities so as we learn how to do that more is going to flow in okay and also going with the flow um, so easygoing uh, attitude right <clears throat> okay and then Libra's here so uh, maybe perhaps um, <clears throat> With the uh, Cancer Moon also, maybe you're, you're kind of assessing your emotions and aligning everything and how you feel with your partnerships and people and connections and family. Okay, and then here you have Angelic Assistance. So, uh, ask and you shall receive. So, remember to ask... Um, those that are ready to help you at any time so just ask um, and that goes for the physical angels too right okay and uh, so uh, divine guidance and loving support so know that you are embraced uh, from within okay uh, through the all okay all right, and setting boundaries. Okay, so moving forward in the future, you know what things uh, could potentially trigger you, so you would set those boundaries ahead of time, okay? So that would be in relationships, also love relationships, okay? Um, I feel like you've had a lot of experience in love and partnerships, and so... Um, and you want people to honor you the way you honor other people. So um, as you're moving in that energy, um, you are protected. So uh, know that. Summoning power. Okay. Um, Taurus had this too. Okay, so I feel like this is you really feeling good in your energy. And then here's deep emotions. <laughs> so maybe it's like the ebb and flow, right? The tide. <laughs> okay. So um, just move with it. Okay. And then here's the Mars card. Okay. So um, I feel like this is you feeling really good in your uh, full expression in your sexuality and in all aspects of life. Okay. And, um, and if you, you aren't, then I feel like this with this card adjustment, looking back, moving forward, I think the, the kind of, um, the teeter totter could be from, because like I get like you're feeling really good and then you think of some past thing that happened like in a, a past marriage or a relationship and then it's like wah wah. Okay, so um, as we look to the back to pull in the things we do want to recreate, things will rise. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Uh... Healing Earth, the power to give and receive healing. Okay. All right. So, um, all right. I feel like this is you um, touching a lot of people's lives. And I feel like you don't realize how many people you've actually impacted in your life is what I'm picking up here. Okay. So, keep keep up the great work. I, I see greatness. Okay. So, um just as we remember to uh, do the self-care routines, um, we can also extend that energy. So um, that's what I'm picking up here, self-care also. Okay, and then sacred gratitude. Okay, reverent appreciation and prayer. Okay, so for those of you who believe in praying, I believe in um, affirmative prayer and then saying uh, thank you. Uh, so I feel like that's what this sacred gratitude is. Saying the prayer and saying thank you as if you have received it. Okay. And I leave you with that. Thank you. Okay. Uh, okay, so that was cancer. We're going to do um, Leo on the next video. Okay. <laughs>